Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and this time, got something really unique for you. It's another budget Amazon sling bag. You know how we love these. This one's gonna clock in at about 25 bucks, and I am excited to talk to you about it. What is it? It is from Kingson's. Kingson's is the brand name on this bag, and this was actually recommended by a viewer, so thank you so much, and everybody, please continue to share the bags that you love with me so I can check them out on the channel. All right, so what is going on here? Well, we've got a pretty unique looking sling bag here with some really cool material choices, especially cool in a $26 bag. All right, so you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to dig in on this bag, look at the exterior of the bag first, then the interior of the bag. We're gonna get into all the nooks and crannies at the end of the review. Two things we love about the bag, two things we think could be better, and then an overall recommendation, should you drop 25 bucks on the sling bag from Kingsons? All right, link as always in the video description. Let's dive in first and talk about the exterior of this bag because there is a lot going on with this little tiny bag, a lot of stuff in a little space. So. First off, the material itself is a really cool kind of polyester pebbled. It looks like when you used to turn a TV on back in the days, that snow on the TV, it looks exactly like that. I dig it. I think the material itself is really, really nice. You also have this kind of asymmetrical, weird shape going on uh, with the whole bag, and I like that too. So there's a lot of interesting stuff on the front of the bag. This little strip right here is rubber like just straight up rubber. Um, we're gonna talk about pockets and everything here in a little bit, so we'll get into that, I promise. Um, the straps themselves come off at a slightly off angle. The one over here is a little higher than the one over here, which is really good for the bag sitting the way I was setting it um, across my uh, left shoulder, hung like this across my front for a crossbody carry. On the back of the bag, you have a pull handle here. This is rubber and really nice. So it's really smooth rubber. Uh, I don't know what to compare it to. I've, I haven't seen rubber used a lot on a bag like this before. And it's pleasant. It feels nice to grab. Yeah, that's really nice. The strap itself has a lot of interesting stuff going on. It is a shiny seat belt material. Um, so not straight up like seat belt all the way thickness um, and it doesn't have kind of that strip down the middle you're used to seeing on really built out seat belt material. It's a little thinner than that. It feels a little bit lighter than that, but it does feel quality. And then on the strap itself, you have a magnetic fid lock of all things. This is fascinating to me. This is so bizarre. This buckle has got to cost them like two or three bucks just to build out. They could have just gone with a straight up normal buckle like everybody else in the industry on a cheap bag. They didn't. They went Fidlock and yeah, really interesting. So if you're slinging this bag across your back, it is as simple as tugging on this little cord for a, an insanely quick release. Fidlocks are fun. They did it. All right, on the bottom of the bag, you have two G hooks. And those G-hooks hook into um, these little black strips here, and that gives you an extra carry option. They're compression straps too, so you can cinch up the bag, um, and you can potentially like stick a little jacket um, onto the bottom or an umbrella or something. I like that they added them. They're a little loosey-goosey, so um, this one is really tight um, in terms of the fit of the G-hook into the, the little black hook up on the bag. This one is really loose. So this one has fallen out a number of times as I tested the bag and ended up with a, a dangling cord. So just be aware there may be for $25 some construction and fit and finish issues that you deal with. Um, to be expected, I think. Uh, some of the rest of what's going on here is all about pockets. So we're gonna pivot from the exterior review to the interior review and start talking pockets. Down here, the main compartment of the bag is actually Another Fidlock. That is fun. So 
We got a fid lock going on to get into the main compartment, which is fun to fidget with on the front while you're carrying the bag, so that's neat. But before we get into that, look, look what we have over here. It's a hidden pocket. And in the hidden pocket, I've got a swell bottle. What? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a pretty neat trick. So this thing just gobbles up a water bottle or an umbrella into, you can see there's a little bit of a compartment down here, but it slides right in behind this front pocket. And I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that on even a really expensive sling. So it, you, it's gonna be hard to see, but it's just built into the construction of the bag. It, it robs a little bit from the main compartment, but that's pretty nifty for a city sling when you're just, it just disappears. That space is not even used when there's nothing in it, but when you want it, it's there and it's really well executed. That is surprising. Kingsons. <laughs> so we've got another front pocket right here. So right across the top here, this looks like a pocket, but it's not, it's just a design element. This is a, just a quick grab pocket. It's right behind that fid lock, so it's easy to get into. I've got a pocket knife in there, and my AirPods are in there. There is no key leash in this pocket. My flashlight of choice is in there, and my blue light blocking glasses are in there. So it's a pretty good sized pocket, and it runs about kind of a over to here, so beyond the zipper on that side and to the zipper on this side. It's really a large pocket and very useful, but still easy to get things in and out of. The zipper pulls themselves are easy to use. No dangly bits. Um, so yeah, all in all, that passes the test too. And then we have the main compartment. It is kind of this charcoal gray interior, which is darker than the bag itself. But inside this compartment, we've got three subdivided sections and the main compartment. So on the back wall, we have a mesh pocket, and in there I put just a cable and a power brick. It's a see-through mesh pocket on the back. And then the main compartment, I've got my gimbal in there that I always carry with me around the city. And then on the front, you have two subdivided drop-down sections. And I've just got my tripod in there. So that is every bit of three liters of space in there three or four liters. It does get robbed a little bit. Let me show you this. When you put a bottle in there, it does stick into the main section, but I still got my gimbal in there. And the other trick this bag has up its sleeve is see this fold at the bottom? When you don't want the bag to be huge, you just cinch these up and it's a really slim profile bag. But when you want the bag to be bigger, you just pull them out and voila. So it works well. It's not quite a, as nifty a trick as the Bellroy Venture, but this is a $25 bag off Amazon. So whatever. On the back, you have a whole nother section back here. It's three dimensional, so it doesn't rob from the main section. And in this section of the bag, drops all the way down almost a clamshell there. I just tossed my wallet back there. Slim items. Remember, this is pressing against your, your front or your back, depending on your carry style, but it's got two subdivided sections back here. So all in all, you've got one, two, three pockets here, four up here. So this is a fourth pocket up here, five, six, seven, eight pockets there total now. And then the water bottle section, is nine. And then you can always strap something down at the bottom if you want with those compression straps. So I've got questions. <clears throat> How did they afford to do this and charge $25? This is really nice, like really nice. So two things that I love about this bag. First off, the materials choice, which again, I have questions about. The fid locks are really nice. The overall feel of the bag is luxurious. The rubber is nice too. I mean, the rubber grab handle feels cool. 
The strap is not cheap. The whole bag feels like a $75 bag rather than a $25 bag. I've got bags, I've like sling bags this size that I've paid four times as much money for. And this is better. Now you're not, this is not a tablet sling, okay? Um, but this is a fun little go-to crossbody sling. It's light, like airy light, and there's quite a bit of storage in there. So for a just city sling, it's fun. And it's, it's worth every bit of the $25. So first thing I like, material choice. Second thing I really like about this bag, I gotta say, it, there's no doubt about it. It's that really unique water bottle holder. Water bottle holders on slings are almost impossible to execute. So Kingsons, whoever you are, you did it. That's a really effective water bottle holder on a compact sling. I'm super, super impressed by that. Like super impressed by the innovative nature of this sling. Okay, two things we don't like about the bag. The first one is unfortunate. And that is the, the actual strap itself. It's not bad. And I told you it was really good materials. There's a cool Fidlock buckle, I like it. Um, but it's just not exactly what I would want for this bag. What would I want for this bag? Well, for one thing, I'd want the quick release back buckle to be down towards the bottom here rather than straight up in the middle. Um, Cause it, it just, it it's such a bulky buckle that it kind of feels a little constrict not constrictive, that's the wrong word. I feel the buckle at all times when I'm wearing the bag. Almost if you've had a chrome cadet and they've got that seat belt buckle, you know where the buckle is at all times. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And then I just don't like the nature of the adjustability on both sides of this thing. It's There's just a lot going on. It dangles off both sides. It maybe is a little bit too complex, maybe. So um, I don't have one laying around here, but uh, on the Tom Talk, it's just that plastic buckle on the TomTok Compact EDC sling, and it's dead simple, and there's no dangle, and there's only one place to adjust it. Um, yeah, maybe just a little too complex. I don't hate it though. The second piece that I would change, I love this grab handle. Like, the rubber grab handle is so cool, but it's on the back of the sling. You can see here, when I grab it, it, it would be nicer for me if it was a little if it rode a little higher on the sling so that it felt more like I was grabbing the sling from the top of the bag rather than the back of the bag. I see why they did it here. It's got extra construction here and then the the it's kind of below the fold on this thing and they've got this thing so it flaps over that section. I don't know. I still would prefer the rubber strap to be up here, but I understand from a construction standpoint why they probably didn't go that way. So all in all, a couple of design things that I don't love quite as much. Maybe the, the, the strap itself is a little too fancy and a little too dangly. And then um, the rubber strap, which I love, I wish was a little bit more towards the top of the bag. But good God, y'all. This thing is $25. And it's kind of hard to find on Amazon. So click the link in the video description if you want this one. Um, but goodness gracious, they, they call it a hiking bag. Like this is the furthest thing from a hiking bag I've ever seen. This is clearly a high tech urban sling bag. Um, just a compact little cross body sling. And it is for what it is pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, I, I love the design. Thank you for the recommendation. I'm also going to put a comment on the video description of the user who recommended, excuse me, the viewer and user of this bag who recommended this bag to me for $25 for our Amazon reviews. Um, dang, I think you guys should probably grab this one before it, uh, before the company Kingsons disappears and it's no longer available. But uh, it just goes to show that for $25, you can still get a great bag. That's not always the case when I do these bargain Amazon finds. This one is really good. I think you'd love it. So grip up this bag, spend your 25 bucks, and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll keep trying to bring you really unique bags on this channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. 
And if you're back again for more, thanks so much. Like the video, and I really appreciate you. Everybody, hope you enjoyed this one-take bag review. We will see you next time. Bye for now, Wanderers.